Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. This is Julie the Paper Pixie, and in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make this masculine gift card shadow box using the He's the Man product suite in the 2022 to 2023 annual catalog. I love the way that this gift box turned out. Go ahead and open this up to show you the inside. I just have a 3D printed gift card in there to show you that that will fit. It's also three quarters of an inch deep, so you could put some chocolates in there or some other fun things. I just love the way that this looks. It's quick and easy to make. If you've never tried a shadow box before, I'm gonna show you how. And this is the first time that I've done one to hold a gift card. You'll find the He's the Man product suite on pages 78 and 79 of the annual catalog. I love this suite of products for masculine projects. This stamp set covers lots of different occasions, Father's Day, anniversary, birthday, and the dies that it comes with are so versatile for so many other things. I actually found myself using these dies for lots of things outside of this product suite. These are the all that dies, but what's really great about these dies is not only do they cut, but they also do some embossing to give you a really pretty frame as well. Such a fun designer series paper too. So many options here. We're gonna go with this option for the lid of our shadow box. And then we've got the rustic metallic adhesive back dots, which are really fun to work with as well. So let's go ahead and jump into the project. I'm starting with a piece of Sahara sand cardstock that measures seven and a half inches by eight and three quarter inches. And on all four sides, we're gonna score this at three eighths of an inch, one and one eighth, one and a half, and two and a quarter. And then I'm gonna go ahead and repeat those measurements on all four sides. Now that those are done, I'm gonna do a couple of short score lines here. So along the long side, we're gonna score this at two and five eighths, but only down to the second horizontal score line and six and one eighth. Again, stopping at that second horizontal score line. Let me show you that up closer to the camera. I'm gonna rotate it 180 degrees and we're gonna repeat the same score lines. So two and five eighths, stop at the second score line and six and one eighth, stop at the second score line. I'm gonna turn it a quarter of a turn to the short side and we're gonna go ahead and score this at one and seven eighths, this time stopping at the fourth score line and five and five eighths, again, stopping at the fourth score line. Rotate it 180 degrees and we're gonna repeat the same thing, one and seven eighths, stopping at the fourth score line and five and five eighths, stopping at the fourth score line, like so. Next, I'm gonna fold and burnish on all the score lines that go all the way across the paper. All right, now bring in the template here. In this version of the shadow box, I'm gonna do side tabs here to make it a little bit easier to go together. These are optional if you'd prefer not to do the side tabs. I personally find it easier to put shadow boxes together with the tabs, they're a little bit sturdier. So I basically like to come in and cut on either side of where that tab is. So I'm coming in three score lines and then four score lines, and then cutting up basically stopping just before this large section here. Let me go ahead and do one of these just to show you. So basically kind of cutting a strip like this because we do wanna leave part of that behind for this tab here. I'm gonna turn it a quarter of a turn and we're gonna remove all of these little sections here. So basically cutting up that score line that's just next to that larger section. We're gonna remove that whole corner piece. And then here I'm gonna come in and just cut right before that tab so that what we leave behind is the tab there. We're gonna repeat the same thing on the opposite side here. So again, cutting up either side of that tab that we wanna leave behind, like so. Turn it a quarter of a turn and remove all of these small sections and then leaving that tab behind. One quick tip, if it's easier for you to make sure that you don't cut those tabs, you can come in and just put a little X's here for the sections that you wanna leave behind and sometimes that helps to visualize it. You're not gonna see those once we put the shadow box together. All right, so I'm gonna turn it 180. We're gonna repeat the same thing on the opposite side here. Again, just coming up each of the vertical score lines on either side of that tab, stopping at that big section. Turn it a quarter of a turn, we're gonna remove all of that, and then make sure we leave behind the tab. Then same thing over here, cut up either side of that tab. Turn it a quarter of a turn, remove all these small sections, and then leave behind the tab. Okay, now we're gonna come in and miter cut those tabs. All right, like so. Now we've got these short score lines as well. This is gonna help us put together the shadow box frame here. So I'm gonna cut up each of those short score lines. I'm just gonna do all four of them. 
like so. And then to create our shadow box frame, we're gonna need to cut on the diagonal here. So since I'm right-handed, I like to cut from right up to left. So we're gonna come down a score line from the bottom of that cut. And I'm gonna cut on the diagonal from score line to score line, like so. Now I'm gonna flip my paper over again since I'm right-handed, always cutting from the right side, right up to left, removing that piece on an angle and just repeat for the remaining two sections. All right, so now we look like our template. Next, we're gonna come in with some tear and tape and I'm gonna flip this over. So we've got it kind of curving this way, the outside of the shadow box. And I'm gonna run tear and tape along all of the four outside sections. I'm lining it up right to the score line as opposed to the edge of the cardstock. And then I'm also gonna put tear and tape on those tabs. And then finally, I'm gonna flip this over and we're gonna put a little piece of tear and tape right along that diagonal cut that we made. And it's totally fine if we're a little messy there, nobody's gonna see that after we put it together. All right, now I'm gonna be brave and remove the backing off of all of the tear and tape. You wanna be gentle moving it off of the diagonals here. You can always use your silicone craft sheet if that'll help you. All right, now our shadow box is ready to put together and we're gonna focus on the sections that have the tabs attached. So the ones that don't have the diagonal cuts and I'm gonna go ahead and fold on the first and third score line. So first and third, and then I can press this flat into place like so. That's starting to form one of the edges of our shadow box here. I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the opposite side, again, folding on the first and third score line from the edge and then pressing that down flat. Next is the tabs. So I'm gonna line up this score line with this cut edge. Now, quick tip, if you have any tear and tape that's hanging over the edge, just fold it right back onto itself. Okay, so again, this score line with this cut edge to start to form our shadow box corner. And then tear and tape makes this go really quickly. Just gonna repeat the same thing on all four sides. All right, so we've got our corners are done. And now we're gonna go ahead and fold in the long sides. And what I like to do is sort of curl that into the box so that this edge kind of hits the back wall. And then I'm gonna roll it into place. I'm gonna stick to your tear and tape here a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and roll it into the back. You'll feel that hitting that back wall there. And then as I roll this down into place, I'm also pressing in from the side to line up those corners. And if you remember, we put that tear and tape right underneath that diagonal piece and those should stick and catch there. So repeating the same thing on the opposite side, again, taking this edge and sort of curling it towards the back. I'm gonna stick to it a little bit with the tear and tape. And then we can go ahead and roll this into place while pressing those shadow box diagonals in place like so. All right, now go ahead and put your gift card in there. Again, that's just a 3D printed one for purposes of the video. We'll put this off to the side. And next I have a piece of the He's the Man designer series paper, and this measures four and five sixteenths by five and nine sixteenths. That's just one sixteenth more than four and a quarter and one sixteenth more than five and a half. That sixteenth of an inch increment is gonna help this lid fit over the box. And then all we're gonna do is go ahead and score this at five eighths of an inch on all four sides. Like so, I'm gonna go ahead and fold and burnish on all the score lines. And then a real quick and easy template here. I'm just gonna come in and cut up each of the vertical score lines, stopping at the horizontal score line along the long side. And then I'm just gonna come in and miter cut those tabs. All right, like so. Next, I'm just gonna use multi-purpose liquid glue on the tabs. And we're gonna line up this score line with this cut edge to form our box lid corner. And then we're just gonna repeat that for the remaining three corners. All right, now there's our box lid. Gonna bring in the shadow box and that lid should fit perfectly over the base. And next I'm grabbing some Sahara Sand Twill Ribbon that comes from the Old Olive and Sahara Sand Twill Ribbon Combo Pack. We're gonna go ahead and tie a knot around the shadow box. We just did a square knot there with straight edges. And then we're gonna do a little bit of stamping and embellishing. Next, I'm gonna stamp the sentiment to the man who does everything in early espresso onto Sahara sand. 
And then using our new magnetic cutting platform, which I absolutely love, I'm gonna go ahead and line up this rectangle from the All That Dies. And then I'm gonna cut a piece using this label from Cajun Craze. And you'll see that those stay together on the magnetic cutting platform, I love this. Then I'm gonna go ahead and run that through the machine. We have two perfectly cut out pieces that also have some embossing on them as well. I love the way those look. I'm gonna flip this over and put some liquid glue along the Cajun Craze piece. And then it's just easier for me to line this up from the back side here, centering it top to bottom, left to right, like so. I'm just gonna go ahead and line up some dimensionals here. We're gonna pop that up on the front of our box. And then using a pair of the rustic metallic adhesive back dots, I'm gonna go ahead and pop that on either side of our Cajun Craze piece for a nice finished masculine gift card shadow box. Perfect for the man in your life, for a birthday, Father's Day, anniversary, you name it. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss my next video. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Stampin' Up! products I used today, they'll be linked in the description. And I'll also include a link to my detailed blog posts with all project measurements, details, and pictures of the templates. I'd love to have you come visit me at thepaperpixie.com where I post projects to inspire you. And if you don't want to miss a thing, you can subscribe to receive blog updates via email and you'll receive an email each time I publish a new post. If you give this project a try, I'd love to see what you made. So feel free to share it on social media with the hashtag paperpixie and I'll be sure to check it out. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Take care. Bye.